Warrior is planning for Kahi Leonard to play Game 3. Kahi Leonard is listed as questionable for Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals on the Spurs injury report, but the Warriors are preparing as if he'll be available Saturday night. I'm 100% sure he's going to play, Warriors forward Kevin Durant said after practice Friday. I haven't talked to anybody, but that's just my gut. Added Warriors forward Draymond Green, there's no doubt in my mind that he'll play. Leonard missed Game 6 and overtime of Game 5 of the Western Conference semifinals against Houston after spraining his left ankle in the fourth quarter of Game 5. He aggravated the injury twice in the third quarter of Game 1 of the West Finals against Golden State on Sunday, the second time when he landed on Warriors center Zaza Pachulia's foot after a jump shot. MRI results on Leonard's ankle revealed no structural damage. With Leonard back at the team hotel in San Francisco, Jonathan Simmons started Game 2 on Tuesday and had a team-high 22 points in 26 minutes. It hardly mattered as the Warriors cruised to a 136-100 win. Leonard, for his part, didn't sound overly optimistic Friday that he would be back for Game 3. I'm not sure. I mean, it's still not ready, Leonard told reporters. It's just questionable for tomorrow. I could be feeling way better. We'll see tomorrow. This much is certain, a healthy Leonard would significantly buoy the Spurs' chances of digging out of their 2-0 series hole. In addition to being an MVP candidate, he leads San Antonio this postseason in scoring, 27.7 points per game, rebounding, 7.8, assists, 4.6, and steals, 1.7. Leonard had 26 points and 8 rebounds before exiting Game 1 midway through the third quarter. He's going to play, Durant said. I'm sure he's going to play. It's Game 3 at home, and he's got a few days of rest on that ankle. They're a way better team, obviously, with him on the court. They pose a different threat. Warriors injuries, Andre Iguodala and Pichulia are still questionable for Saturday's game, Warriors acting head coach Mike Brown said after practice Friday. While Aguadala participated in practice, Pachulia sat out with a right heel contusion. He was experiencing increased soreness after going through part of practice Thursday. Yesterday was pretty good, but today was a little step back, Pachulia said. I was a little more sore today because I did some things on the court yesterday. It was a little bit worse than yesterday. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be good. Iguodalo missed Game 2 with left knee soreness. His MRI exam Monday revealed no structural damage, but the Warriors tend to be cautious with the 33-year-old swingman, who has a history of knee and back injuries. Pachulia didn't return after leaving Game 2 in the first quarter with his bruised heel. He finished the game with 4 points and a rebound in 7 minutes. An MRI exam he had Wednesday came back clean. Connor Leturnu is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Green, Iguodala in top three in award voting. Warriors forward Draymond Green Utah center Rudy Gobert and San Antonio forward Kahi Leonard were the top three vote-getters for NBA Defensive Player of the Year, and Warriors swingman Andre Iguodala and Houston guards Lou Williams and Eric Gordon were the top three in balloting for the sixth man of the year, the league announced Friday. Warriors guard Stephen Curry the reigning two-time MVP, won't win a third straight MVP, but he is a finalist with teammates Kevin Durant and Green for Assist of the Year. Clay Thompson is a finalist for Top Performance of the Year. Both are new categories, to be awarded based on ongoing online fan voting. Leonard, Houston's James Harden and Oklahoma City's Russell Westbrook are the top three in MVP voting. Green, second to Leonard for Defensive Player of the Year each of the past two seasons, has been widely considered this year's front-runner. A versatile defender capable of guarding all five positions, he led the league in steals and ranked second in deflections. Green is the first player since Dwayne Wade in 2008-09 to record at least 150 steals and 100 blocks in a season. When Durant, Golden State's best interior defender, was sidelined for five-plus weeks with a left knee injury, 
Green was the driving force behind the team's most inspired defensive stretch of the season. The Warriors finished the season trailing only San Antonio in defensive efficiency. Unlike the previous two seasons, when Iguodala and Sean Livingston were free to pace the Warriors' second unit, this year head coach Steve Kerr tried to play at least two of his four primary scorers Green, Durant, Curry or Thompson at all times. It wasn't until Iguodala shouldered a heavier offensive load toward the end of the season, when Durant was injured, that Iguodala started being mentioned in the sixth man of the year discussion. With 262 assists, 76 steals, and 58 turnovers, he finished the season number one in assists per turnover, 4.50 to 1, and number seven among players who played at least 70 games in steals per turnover, 1.31 to 1. His plus-minus average of 6.9 topped all NBA reserves who have played at least 50 games. The NBA Awards will air on TNT on June 26. The ceremony will also honor the Rookie of the Year, Coach of the Year and Executive of the Year.